East to the leafy campus of Ryder University in New Jersey, just five miles south of Princeton. With a student body under 6,000, it's an unlikely place to find a viable prospect for the NBA draft. But after averaging over 20 points and 12 rebounds and earning MAC Player of the Year honors, 6'11 senior Jason Thompson has put his school on the basketball map. And there's the big fella with a two-handed flush. That's why it's not a bad idea to go ahead and do that. <laughs> there wasn't a player that we played this year that could stop him. I mean, I know we played Beasley and all that, but I mean, Jay had a great game against him. You're an NBA scout. That's the first thing you write down, that he's quick, he's athletic, and he shows it right there. It's just because he's so tall and could do a lot of other things. Big men that are true big men cannot guard him. And it's just a lot of mismatches when they play against Jay. Despite making a name for himself early in his college career, Jason chose to stay at Tiny Ryder. After I had two good years there, people had said, you know, is he going to transfer? But, you know, I just stuck with it. His loyalty was rewarded when crowds packed alumni gym, as fans and NBA scouts alike hoped to get a glimpse of the local hero. Over the years, you could just see the amount of people coming. And then uh, this year, we had games sold out like a week before. And, you know, a great atmosphere. We had a Friday night game in here against Niagara. I remember one night where there was 17 NBA teams represented. A lot of Hall of Fame guys, you know, like Joe Dumar, Vinny Del Negro, Jason Williams, those type of guys that, you know, you never seen at a small school in New Jersey like that. Thompson also put his skills on display at a series of camps where he competed against big-name college stars and also NBA players. Obviously, they're going to get their baskets up because they do it on any guy that guards them in the league. And then, you know, I came right back at him and tried to score as well. And I just tried to show that it doesn't matter the guy's name, that I'm going to just try and go at him regardless. Although he'll be competing for a draft slot against players with a much higher profile, Jason wouldn't have made it this far if he hadn't had time to grow and develop at Ryder. He might have taken a little bit longer in one of those programs to see the court because physically he just wasn't ready. Where here, he was at a level where even though he was still a little skinny and still had a developing game, he was talented enough. I always think that he liked where he was because you could be a, a big fish in a little pond and still he can still shine. Hopefully, I could be an example to the guys being at a smaller school that you do have a shot to go. It doesn't matter if you go to the Dukes, the Carolinas. If you have the talent and the heart enough, you can do well in anywhere and people are going to find you. If the players were still trying to make the grade in Orlando, on the campus of Ryder University in New Jersey, senior draft prospect Jason Thompson had nothing left to prove. Graduation round wasn't, you know, the prettiest day. You know, it rained a little bit. It was everything that this college student athlete experience is supposed to be. You know, big six eleven guy standing there in the, in the cap and gown. I thought it was so important that even though at that time school had ended and he was out in Chicago preparing for the NBA, it was important that he came home for that. You gas? You hype? Feel good? The hard work that I put in for four years, just to just to get that degree, it felt so good. Jason Carlton Thompson. Hey guys, so, uh, we're supposed to pause for this one. Uh, okay. We wanted for the uh, the long and short. <laughs> Unless I got my degree and saw my family, how happy my family was. Hey, Mary, but, uh, congratulations. Uh, it's probably the best feeling that I've, I've had so far. And I feel good that, you know, I'm a college graduate now. Now it's time to move on and, and go to work and, and try and do whatever it takes to get drafted. Although Jason's place in the draft is still far from secure, having a college diploma can only help. The NBA is rigorous and it's, it's way more difficult than people think. Having four years of school, I think, bodes well um, and is an advantage for any individual player. While the top prospects were getting ready for action in New York City, Jason Thompson was gearing up to watch the draft in his hometown of Mount Laurel, New Jersey. It's time. Since I put the ball in my hand at five years old, and here I am at 21 on draft day. And one of the names that 
can be called today would be great, so let's go. As the lottery teams made their picks, a big man in New Jersey was taking it all in. Are things going the way you thought they would be going? And he never could have guessed what was about to happen. With the 12th pick, the Sacramento Kings select Jason Thompson from Ryder University. Second round to not even be drafted, and then to be 12. Oh my God, this is a dream. 